Hey guys, I hope all is well with everyone. Today I have a what's in my bag for you guys. I will be sharing what I have in my Marc Jacobs tote. I've had this bag for a little while now. I just hadn't gotten around to carrying it. And as I stated in previous videos, I am still catching up on content that I have for you guys. So without further ado, we'll move right into the what's in my bag. Um, this is the Marc Jacobs mesh tote, small. In the color candy pink i did get it from the mark jacobs website and i'm just giving you a quick look around the outside of the bag many of you are probably already familiar with this bag this is such a pretty color for the spring summertime but i don't usually go by seasons i carry the bags that i love whenever i have an urge to here on the front of the bag i have placed this cute little diy charm now i did get this from hobby lobby it was in the craft section but if i'm correct i think this is a bracelet i just took it and tweaked it and made it into the pur uh, purse charm to add to the bag and on the charm there you see you have the cowboy boots cowboy hat the little heart there in the middle and a flower thought that was super cute of course you can tell by now what the theme of the bag is and there on the outside i do have my pocket back holder for my hand sanitizer from Bath and Body. And on the inside, I have my bubblegum hand sanitizer. All right, so there's the top. You do have a pink zipper, but for whatever reason, Mark Jacobs decided to add a black zipper pull to this bag. And I'll give you an overview. Let me take my keys out. An overview of how I have it packed. Here are my keys that I have attached to my Victoria's Secret keychain wristlet. And on here, I just added a cute little cowboy hat. thought that was really cute. Blinged out. Along with the cowboy boot charm with the pom-pom on it. And then on the back, of course, I have my keys. All right, now I'll give you a quick overview of how I have it packed. I didn't go with a whole lot of pouches in this bag. For one, I just thought it was cute to place the bigger makeup pouch in there to serve as kind of like a bag organizer and also to kind of conceal some of your things for a little privacy since this bag is see-through. But I will start to pull from the sides here and show you what I have. I do have my phone case. And most of these items, before I start, most of these items I did get from Five Below. And I think the makeup bag itself is either from Marshalls or Burlington. I did put a short up about a month ago showing these items. And I also picked up this cute little notebook. The cowboy hat with the cow print on there in pink. And you have the line pages on the inside. Okay, and that's everything I have tucked on the sides. I'll just start to pull from the back pocket here. The first thing I have is this cute little card case. Now, I did get this from Bill's Outlet. Many of you are familiar with this store. It's also known as Burke's, and they're a sister store to, I think, HomeSense or HomeCentric. So if you have either of those stores, you can check for uh, different items. I do have my cards in there, and in the back, I do have my ID, and I just placed a white little card to block my information. I also have another hand sanitizer. This is a container that I ordered from Timu, and I just have some regular hand sanitizer inside. When I say regular, unscented, because when I'm with the hubby, he doesn't like to be walking around smelling floral and fruity. I also have a pack of Trident gum, and this is the bubble gum flavor. And that's everything I have in that back pocket other than the information on the bag, the cards and stuff that came with it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the pouch out so that you guys can see what all I have. I do have my AirPods case. They are charging at the moment, so they're not in here but I still want to share it with you guys. 
and I thought it went well with the theme of the bag with the cow print. Okay, and here's the makeup bag. Like I said, I'm not sure. I think I got this from Burlington, either Burlington or Marshalls. And on here, I just attached a little charm that I made myself. And just added the little cowboy hat, some boots, and the hearts to it. All right, I thought that was really cute. And there's the look at the bag. Same print all the way around. It's holding a little bit of everything. Like I said, I didn't want to put a whole lot of pouches in the bag. I wanted this to show through the bag. So that's why I decided to go with it. First thing I have, this is not pink, but I like this. I really enjoy using this, so I want to carry it in my bag. This feels really good and goes on smooth on the lips. It's not sticky, and it even has like a cooling minty effect to it. I got this from the Dollar Tree. I also have my CoverGirl Yummy Gloss. I think this one is Sugar Poppy. But I do have that. I have my container, which holds my Q-tips. I also have another little container that has my glossers inside. And I have this little pouch here. It is hot, extremely hot. And those of us that suffer with allergies or respiratory problems, we, it's like we can't catch a break with the extreme heat. Inside of here, I have some eye allergy drops. I also have a vapor inhaler. I have my pill container, which holds my Tylenol and allergy pills. And I have a few wipes dropped down inside. I have some alcohol, prep pads, and some Pharrell singles. I do have more of these in my purse, but I put these in this pouch because when I get ready to deal with the eye drops or whatever, I want to make sure I have something right there on hand to make sure my hands are clean. Um, the next item I have is this cute little pouch here. Now, this is intended to go on a water bottle. It did come with another little strap. I picked it up in a set from Five Below, but I decided to just use it to hold my tissues. You can also use it as a little corn pouch or, you know, whatever you need it for at the time. But I do have a pack of tissues inside of there. Next, I have my LA Colors Makeup Removing Wipes. So I don't do a whole lot of makeup, but when it's hot out and you're sweaty, you need something to refresh. I did pick up this mirror from Five Below. It is also a double-sided mirror that has an LED light in it. I'll try not to blind you guys with the light, but there it is. And there's the other mirror on the other side. And you turn it on and off on the back here by this switch. And they did have this in white, I believe, from five below, five dollars. I also have this pouch here. This is my like emergency nail repair kit. And inside of here, I have my Ioni nail glue. And this stuff really works, guys. I almost feel like I don't need to carry it when I have that glue on. It's This little pouch also comes with a two-in-one prep and polish removal wipe. And I think I got this from Marshalls, I think. This little kit, it comes with two band-aids. It also has a tube of glue that it comes with. And you get... A little tiny miniature sized top coat and you also get a small file along with a small cuticle pusher if I can get it out of here so I thought this was a really little, neat little set to have and then once you use these up you can also easily replenish and use the pouch again Trying to get everything packed back in, guys. 
And on the outside of it, you get this cute little chain that has a little nail polish charm on there. All right, the next thing I have dropped inside of here is my cuticle oil. I have some blotting sheets. And I think I got this from Ross. And it comes with the sheets to refill with also. Now you do have a mirror on here. So if, if I didn't if I just didn't want to have another mirror, I could just use that. But I wanted this mirror in there because because it's a little bit bigger and it has the light on it. The next thing I have is what I call old faithful. I love this little pouch, and you have seen this pouch in many, many videos of mine. I got it from Shein, and it has the little sparkle, the little glitter on here. And I use this for my bathroom pouch, so I'm not going to pull everything out because you can pretty much see what I have. My expandable towels are here. Soap sheets are here. Antibacterial wipes are here. Panty liners. My feminine wipes and Perel singles. And I love that it has multiple openings. You can open it from either end here. Or you can turn it on the back and open it from the envelope style opening. Super cute. I love these. I have a few of these. And the last thing I have dropped down inside of here. It's just empty. I still have the little silica gel pack inside of there. And this is a wipeable material. That's another reason I want to use it too. To keep from putting anything in the bag that may accidentally leak or spill. I just have two ink pens. I have my pink zebra pen from the Dollar Tree. And I have a pen that came in a pack from Ross that says you're a limited edition. And that's it, guys. That's everything I had packed inside of here. I'm trying to get everything put back in real quick so that I can give you a full setup of how I have it packed. And I thought this was a really cute and fun carry. I love the little mesh bag I believe that's everything I had inside of that pouch it is okay so some of these items may still be available I was in bills about a week ago and I did see that they had another uh, style of the cowboy cowgirl theme makeup bag and it's in a denim like um material i thought that one was super cute too i was contemplating whether i want to go back and get it and bring you guys a what's in my bag on that all right guys there's a look and everything I had packed inside. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing. I'll see you all in the next one.